monster. here in the fresh air for hours. Me too. I just love the springtime. We're gonna sunbathe. How come you brought a book? Mama gave it to me when I was looking for our blanket. She said since it's spring, we should both read it. Why? What's it about? Gardening? Well, it's about dirt, but not the kind you find in the garden. This book is called The Dust Monster. I think Mom is trying to tell us we need to clean our room. That's right. I thought the two of you could use some inspiration for your spring cleaning. But we already picked up our clothes and put our toys away. That's true, but springtime is when we do more than just tidying up. Well, I think our room is fine just the way it is. Well, any other weekend it would be just fine, Kitty. But this weekend we need to open up the windows and scrub the house clean. When we're done, the house will smell so fresh and clean just like springtime. You can't see dust. What'll happen if you leave it there? In the middle of the night, the dust monster will rise and make you sneeze till morning. If you don't believe me, read your book. It's all right there. I uh, don't worry, Mimi. I think Mom is just trying to scare us. Of course, she doesn't usually tell us stories like that. Oh. Maybe she is telling us the truth. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to check out that book. I mean, what have we really got to lose? Okay, but you read it, Kitty. After what Mama said, the cover is enough to scare me. Mimi, are you sure you want me to read this out loud? Yes. Okay, here I go, but remember, it's just a story. As nighttime fell, the dust monster emerged from the dark corners of the room looking for the little girl so he could make them sneeze. You can relax, Mimi. If this story were true, the dust monster would have already shown up. Just look at our room. Oh no, Mimi, you've got to listen to this. And now it is your turn. If you are reading this and have not cleaned your room, expect your very own visit from the dust monster. You think it's gonna happen? I doubt it. It's just a story. Now just put the book away, Mimi. Forget about it and let's get on with our sunbathing. Don't you think we should go clean our room just to be on the safe side? After all, it'll only take an hour or two and then we'll be out enjoying the sun again. I don't know about you, but I don't want to meet this monster in the middle of the night. Will you please come with me, Kitty? Mimi, there's no such thing as a dust monster. And the only way you'll ever prove that to yourself is if you don't clean today. Hmm, no such thing as a dust monster? I don't know, but I sure hope Kitty's right. Good night, girls. Sweet dreams. Night, Mama. See you in the morning. Hello? You're not out there, are you, Mr. Dust Monster? Oh, if we had just cleaned our room like Mama said, I wouldn't have to worry about the Dust Monster. Thing. All right. Quit being silly and pull yourself together, Mimi. See? There's nothing out there. I guess Kitty's right. I do have quite an imagination. <gasps> oh. Take the time to clean your room today. Now it's my turn to have fun and keep you up all night. Mama was right, yeah? <laughs> Look what you did to my sister. Wait a minute, don't blame me. Your sister got what she deserved. You both had fair warning that if you didn't clean up, you'd get a visit from the dust monster. So you just barge in here and scare her out of her wits? No, oh dear. No, I didn't mean to do that. Well, what did you think was going to happen? Of course you scared her, Meanie. I only wanted to motivate you to clean the dust out of your room. Why do you care about that? 
What do you care if we have a little dust in our corners? If you promise you won't laugh, I'll tell you. It's springtime, oh. and since I'm dust, I really want to be outside watching the flowers grow. Not trapped inside the corners of this room. Sorry, I didn't know. That's okay. Not many people do. They leave us trapped inside under the furniture, and they never think we might just want to go outside. Why didn't you say all this in the first place? I tried. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. You just didn't know how to listen. Don't you remember seeing some dust today? It was swirling through the air towards the open window. Remember? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, then. That was me. I was just trying to get outside. I promise Mimi and I will sweep out all your dust tomorrow. Yippee! I feel so bad. Not only did I keep you trapped here away from the springtime flowers, I also made Mimi feel silly, and she was right all along. Don't waste energy feeling bad about it. Just make up your mind to fix it. Every day starts with a new beginning. So tomorrow morning, throw open the windows to let the fresh air in and work side by side with Mimi to make this room spotless. Whoa. Good morning, Mimi. Good morning, Kitty. What a beautiful day. It sure is. Come on, let's start cleaning. <laughs> There, now you two are all set for your spring cleaning. The masks will help you keep the dust out of your noses so you won't sneeze. I am very pleased that you two woke up with so much energy. Especially you, Kitty. I know how much you hate to clean your room and that you would rather be out in the garden. Yeah, well... <laughs> I don't know what came over her this morning, Mama. She just woke up talking about cleaning our room. Hey, maybe the story was true and Kitty got a visit from the dust monster. Mm, Mimi doesn't seem to remember the dust monster coming into our room. I'm sure it happened, though. No, I just realized that if the dust was trapped in our room, it couldn't be outside watching all the springtime flowers grow. And you know how much I like flowers. So I decided that I should quit being lazy and work with Mimi this morning to sweep up all the dust and put it outside where it belongs. That way the inside of the house is clean and the dust is in the garden with the flowers. At this rate, we'll be done in no time, Kitty. That's what's great about working together. Our room will be so clean. I'll bring up a nice vase of fresh flowers that everyone can enjoy. <laughs> hey, maybe tomorrow we can clean out the attic. And next week, the garage. 